So there's been some questions about how these things are supposed to work with LLR. So I wanted to show kind of the basic setup just so everybody can understand how I'm getting this to work. So I've got my computer pulled up here. This is just the sequence editor window. Um, as you can see on the bottom here, I am running the control panel. So that shows that the computer is talking with my open DMX adapter. Now, for my purposes, I'm using this little Intec Open, uh, which is basically the same thing as the later version LOR dongles. Um, it relies on the computer to do the timing. Um, for the show, I use an Open or a, 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 an Intec Pro. Um, rather than this one. I've modified this one. Uh, instead of using the 5-pin XLR uh, and using adapters or whatever to plug into it, I just added one of my 4-core pigtails. And I've got uh, instructions on how I did that on the website. So that uh, runs out here, runs into um, basically just a splitter. Uh, this has two male inputs, one for DMX data and one for 12 volt power. So you can see here's my power supply. Those two wires come together and they output into a single male. I also put uh, two adapters on here for Cat5 cables. This one runs on pins 4 and 5 uh, which is a standard LOR D-Lite pinout. This one runs on pins 1 and 2. So that means I can take my existing setup here and plug it into um, any of the other things that I'm using uh, through this little this little blender or this injector. So from there um, we now have in this cable power and data running together down here into our board. So we have our 12 volt positive and negative wires here and then we come across and these are soldered onto the uh, DMX data pins 2 and 3 uh, for DMX negative and positive data. And coming out of this, uh, each one of these um, outputs goes through a waterproof pigtail and then goes up to these RGB node strings. So I'm going to show here, oh, I should show how this is, is uh, channel set too. You can see these uh, dip switches uh, down on the bottom of the board. Um, if you go to our website, uh, I have a link under this board to this website here, this dartfordsound.com. It's got a really nice easy calculator. Um, right here you can see I'm starting these at channel 134. So it'll actually show you exactly the dip switch setting that you need to use. Um, the board itself is labeled underneath. You can add it up in your head. You don't have to use this thing, but this just makes it nice and quick and easy. So. Going back to my Lighterama here, what I'm going to show is these three, or these five channels here on the bottom. These were my tree strings. So if I click on that, you can see that starts at channel 134. So that's what I have my board set to right now. So everything's plugged in. Uh, we have the comm listener running. I have uh, control lights checked up here at the top. So when I hit play, and we start to run across here, you see a fade up in red. So our lights are following the sequence right now.
So as you can see, it's a really easy setup. Um, everything is plug and play and interchangeable. Um, and it works straight out of Lightarama. So I hope this kind of helps understand how all this works, at least uh, from the hardware side, what you need and what plugs into what. Um, if there's any questions, uh, you can either post them in the comments, send me an email, um, or definitely check out the how-to section on our website, which is www.lightuplawrence.net. Um, I try to be pretty thorough and, and explain all this stuff on there, so uh, if it's not on there, just send me a question.